Hey guys, this is Edwin from The Recording Connection. I want to go over the quote-unquote money chords. What does that mean? Why are, uh, if you notice, uh, the majority of hit songs are around, they're created with the same progressions. You know, it's all about, uh, you know, what, what you add and the textures to the track. Usually the progressions are the same. Reason being is because we only have 12 keys in an octave, right? We can only go so far, right? Now it's about uh, what you add to it, what the textures you are. We already know which chords sound the best. We know what chords we like the best. Um, and that's what I want to go over with you guys. Also, keep in mind, I'm going to be playing everything in C. Uh, but this is, you transpose everything to wherever you want that, 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 doesn't matter. Uh, the reason I won't do it in other other keys just because I don't want the black keys to get you know get confusing and all that. So here we go. So let's start uh, with the first one. The first one um, is, for example, the one three four five one. Right? What do I mean by this? Well, the one is the C, the one chord, right? Then we're gonna go to the three, which is uh, E minor to F to G. To C, right? Now, when you hear that together, it'll be like this. Sorry, guys, let me do it quicker. Here we go. So, what you do is when you have these type of chords, you simply, doesn't matter what sound, don't look for the sound, just start recording, right? Boom, quantize it. But then when you, when you bring it back, you'll hear Second, guys, I lost my chord here. Right? This is a bit more somber, and we're going to go on the happy chord. But remember, this is a one, three, four, five, one chord progression. What I mean by this is the degrees of your scales. And uh, if you have any questions on what, what I mean by that, make sure that you go with your mentor. You have the recording connection. You have the access to go with your mentor one-on-one -on -one at, a, at a studio and actually go over this theory. You know, you, you don't just want to read about it. You actually want to see it and you want to hear it because this is all for one purpose. It's to create awesome music, right? So once again, that's the one, it's C. If this works, here we go. And then three minor, E minor, F, G, and then one. That is that easy. Now the second chord, uh, this is one of my favorite, is uh, the six four five one chord, and that's it. When you hear, it, you're gonna realize, okay, that I've heard that in a billion billion songs. Same thing. So the six, and if we're in the key of C, the six is A minor. So here we go, A minor. Four is F. Five, and then one, right? So six. And keep in mind, it starts with the six. You don't start with the one, right? So it'd be a little a quick, quicker tempo would be like this. All right. Once again. Right? And the reason, the reason I, why I reiterate this is, 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 is creativity. Because the reason I, I actually stopped was because I actually thought, wow, this would be good if I add in this, if I add in this. That's what these chords do, right? So for example, once again. Right? 
beautiful, beautiful. Same thing uh, with any other at any other key. If you want to trans transpose it, um, you could record it in C as well, and then it it come back up, right? So it's six, four, five, one. Once again, uh, before I let you guys go, six. And then one right perfect so that is how to use the money chord uh, progressions for your tracks